My name is Stormy Matlick. I've lived here most of my life. West Virginia is a great state. There's a lot of great people here. There's amazing potential. But to be 49th in voter turnout, I don't, I don't, that doesn't surprise me at all. Roads are horrible. Another big issue that we're dealing with is the drug epidemic. I learned a lot of the history from my gran. There were banks and a movie theater and grocery stores. And now there's not a lot of opportunity to keep money in the town. There's not a lot of job opportunity here either. Um, we need to have a conversation. Why? Do you really like Brayden or was Amy making that up? She was making it up. Sis, I kind of feel like you're fibbing. No. <laughs> I've been a single mom for almost four years. So my kids are really oh, used God. to having me and only me to depend on. Last year, I made under $19,000. As Tristan says, you know, maybe we're not poor, we're just frugal. I work for the Board of Education in Preston County, and I've done social service type work for the last eight years. I'm learning more through my job about the people that don't vote. They just don't think that their voice matters. They don't trust the person who's running for office, which has kind of led to my desire to do more with the political realm. As a registered Republican, I don't care how you're registered to vote. You live in a trailer, you live in a mansion, I don't care. Because it is possible to be registered Republican and still be for the people. God will honor his covenant. How many of you believe that? I've lived in Preston County all my life. It's 46 years. I am not registered to vote. They say this and that, and when they get in there, they don't do it. It's the same way with every president that we've had, so. I think it's basically a waste of time. They don't worry about anything that we want or need in life. Waste some time, waste some money. I don't quite understand everything about it, and I don't follow the politics. I think it's rigged. Bubba, the dog is going to pee. Okay, West Virginia government is doing what is best for those in the government. They're not listening to the people running for office. That was never, never, never on my radar. But there's a lot of voiceless people up here. And I've utilized the services that these people are utilizing. I know the change that needs to happen. I've never voted. I've never bothered to register, just never bothered. No one's going to care anyways. So what difference does it make? The only time I've ever spoken to an elected official is around election time. Have you ever talked to them? Nope. Not a single one. It's kind of like, oh my gosh, you want poor people to talk to you? How are we to change if we don't talk to the people that are affected? That's why I've never really voted, because no matter how big my voice is and how much I'm out there, nobody ever pays attention. Do you feel like if you would contribute financially to somebody's campaign that they would talk to you? Not unless you had enough money. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's sad. Money should not talk. People with voices should talk. I have big trust issues. 
And that trust issue just expands when the people I know is supposed to be out there to help me is not there. One of these days, you're going to have a voice just like me. Then we're, pushing, then, then pushing, we're going to right? harmonize, girl. We're going to harmonize. <laughs> It's the same thing everywhere. It's not just West Virginia. Like, you need to know your voice does matter, your vote does matter. So what are you gonna say to her? Here's a flyer, my mom's running for a house of delegates. Okay, thanks. If you're doing it truly for the right reason, then people are gonna talk. And so then eventually, all these people talking are gonna be, hey, we need to register to vote. Hey, we're gonna vote. Hey, we're gonna vote. Those non-voters, if we get them to vote, then they're going to be the majority. It's a super simple solution.